What's going on, YouTubers? Jackknife Finnegan subscribers and or Finnegan. How you doing? Today we woke up. It is 9 a.m. We only had about four hours of sleep, you guys. And we're getting ready for the day. Um, it's a little wet outside, but it's going to be humid. Uh, can't wait to show you guys what outside and uh, banyos looks like. Today we're going to the waterfall. What waterfall is it? The Paleon del Diablo. The Paleon de Diablo. I probably butchered that name, but we'll get the real name later. Yes, we're also going on the Swing of Death. We're also going on a Suspended Bridge. We're also going to be roaming the streets of Ecuador. We're going to be doing all types of stuff. Yeah. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, guys, let's get to the action. Let's go. So guys, when we walk into the bathroom, obviously it's a, you know, you got the toilet, you got the shower, but how many places do you know with in the shower puts the circuit breaker in the shower? Like literally the circuit breaker is in the shower. So there's the shower and there is the circuit breaker. I thought I would show that to you guys because I thought that was pretty hilarious. Also, look at the luxurious TV we got. So check this out, guys. When we're sitting in our bed, it looks like an exit sign. Because look at this, guys. So all the way, laying all the way in my bed. Look how far this TV is. <laughs> we're going to turn it on later, you guys, so you can see what type of picture we got. But that's the TV we got. Monster drapes going out to the... Uh, out to the dining hall, but you know when you open the door you don't see the dining hall So guys as soon as we come out of our hotel in Banos, this is what we come out to We got the downtown It's thriving got the market going got music blaring probably can get a copyright strike for it, but whatever We got people chilling Streets are just pumping but yeah, guys, this is downtown, uh, downtown Banos. So check it out, guys. We're gonna go walk the street and see what we got going on. But yeah, this is it right here. You got your little general store, which is open. When we came in here; everything was locked up, closed, sealed up for the night, but. Right away in the morning, you guys, you got right across the street, you got the tourist stuff, so you can do all the tourist stuff you want to do. All right there for you. Look at these muscle-bound guys right here. There you go. You got muscle people at Club Motalvo. I mean, this is just a neat, a simple way of life, man. That's what I love about coming to other countries, man. It's just such a simple life. People got their clothes hanging out drying them you got people just walking around making sounds off of everything they could find i mean i just love this type of stuff you know what i mean like this is my element traveling and, and getting out and being with the people and seeing what's going on you got the mercado down here which is a market they got that down here they got a band and oh we got a normal guy down here just singing chilling That's pretty dope. Oh, you got street cooking down here? Oh, damn. Street cooking down here, guys. I'm gonna get some street cooking. Downtown Banos, guys. Ecuador. South America. Look at the waterfall, you guys. Look at this. Right downtown, you guys. Look at this waterfall. That's pretty dope. That's awesome. They got an actual waterfall right down there coming down. Look at this. That's pretty badass. Wow. I need to get over to that street cooking, guys. Look at that street cooking. Look at it. Oh my god. Street cooking. What are these guys making? 
Look at oh, what the hell are they making? Here, Chase, let's cross the street. We gotta see what they're making over here. Then you got like a straw market down here, guys. Like, like a straw market. So you can work deals out if you want and buy, you know, souvenirs. Oh, these are frogs. What the hell are these? Are these frogs? Are those of them are guinea pigs? Oh, those are, those are the fried guinea pigs. Yeah. Look at these guinea pigs. They're frying up the guinea pigs right in the street, you guys. Look at them. Damn, those are some big guinea pigs. Damn. Damn. That is about as real as it gets. Hey, let's go meet up with everybody else. So this is our first uh, meal. This is a salad. Comes with your meal. Um, I'll show you guys what our meal is. Um, we, we are at a, a place called The Garden right there. It's right, right next to our hotel. And the plates here are about $3 a plate. And so this is the starter. I'll show you guys what you get for $3. But this is the starter. So I'm going to devour this, so give me a minute. All right, guys. So for $3 and 50 cents this is what you get you get your juice which is papaya juice you get your salad and you also get this this big sandwich with chorizo scrambled eggs bacon all for three dollars and fifty cents you guys this whole meal right here and my wife and my sister-in-law got the same meal my kids are getting their meal as you can tell they got they got that so for three dollars and fifty cents, you guys in Ecuador, this is what you get. So we just got done paying for our breakfast. We paid for it was five uh, breakfasts, no kid breakfasts. It was all adult breakfasts. We only we paid for five of them, and uh, the whole bill was twenty dollars. Twenty seventy five was our entire breakfast bill for five breakfasts. That's insane. And they were good, it was a good meal. You got all that food for like $3.50 a piece. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed. And here you don't tip. Uh, tipping is, they, they already include that in the meal. But the, the tipping here, they don't really, they don't understand that and they don't, they don't do tipping here. So you don't have to worry about that if you guys come here. Also in um, in Ecuador, the currency, in case you don't know, is the United States dollar or the American dollar. So everything here is in USD auto automatically. So you don't have to worry about converting or any other stuff. I'm over here recording and people are walking around me and looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? Little do they know Jack Knife Finnegan is in Ecuador. Shout out to all the Brazilian fans I got that I'm in, uh, you know, South America. Appreciate having you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. Shout out to South America. But you can look behind me. This is my scenery, you guys. This is it. Got the mountain in the back. Got the waterfall. I mean, doesn't get any better than this. This is awesome. So, so you guys, my wife just got back. I was looking at the straw market. And she found these. Now, these are 100% alpaca um, 100% alpaca stocking caps. Uh, she bought one for herself and her and um, our daughter. So these are 100% alpaca, and these are uh, four dollars a piece. But I think we got two of these for seven dollars. So look at that, you guys! I thought that was a really cool find because um, we have an alpaca store at the Mall of America. These at Mall of America would probably go for about $30 to $50 a piece. $30 to $50 a piece at Mall of America at the Alpaca store. We're here, $3.50, four bucks. Pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. So as we are getting on our waterfall tour, we got to another part of Banos. 
Uh, this is what we're looking at right here, you guys. It's foggy up there. Ava, wait, wait, Ava, Ava. And here's the waterfall that I showed you earlier. We're getting closer to it. We're gonna go and walk up there and see what it is. But they consider this one the virgin waterfall because of uh, it being holy and Virgin Mary and and Banos has stuff to do with uh, being holy. Also, you guys, here's some home cooking. Look at this, you guys. Look at this, you guys. You got plantains. You got corn going. You got the boils going. Doesn't get any more real than that, guys. There's the Virgin de Agua Santa Aga de la Vida. So as you can tell all around here they got waterfalls. This is from the waterfall, all this water coming in. You got another waterfall over here. <clears throat> so as we're getting higher up by the waterfall, here's the waterfall. And it goes down. But here's the city of Banos from afar. And then here's like their swimming pool. And right now it's about 60 degrees here. And it's a little bit chilly, but those are hot springs. So that water is actually really warm. So they're not really worried about it. So those are the hot springs, that's their pool here. So that's pretty cool. We got the market down that way. A lot of real classic old school architecture. We also got some artwork down below. More waterfall stuff. So the water from this waterfall, you guys, earlier in the video I showed you, goes into these little streams, these basins. Well, what these are is these are people's washing machines. So you bring your clothes here, you wash your clothes here, and then you bring them home to air dry. But these are considered washing machines here in Ecuador. That's pretty cool. Makes you guys appreciate having a washer at home. So right now we're in the park of the waterfall and as you can tell there's a you know a very religious um, Mary statue and that people get pictures taken by it but uh, very religious here in Ecuador I just I love the greenery I hope you guys appreciate the greenery because I love I love the greenery I'm a big fan of like you know the scenery and the, there's the top of the waterfall but I mean all this life it makes you just appreciate things it's awesome and here's like a little park a little gazebo looking over but yeah you guys this is the virgin waterfall in Banyo in Banyos Ecuador, South America. If you guys like the video, leave me a like. If you guys got any comments, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. So as we get out to go look at this new waterfall, this other waterfall, you see there is a merry-go-round just randomly in the middle of the street, just chilling. Little merry-go-round. It's pretty interesting. I thought I'd show you guys 
that but look around you guys check this out look at this scenery you guys are you looking at this look at right now we're in the middle of the Amazon in oh zip lining oh boy Look at this, you guys. Check this out. And look at, there's a big zip line. There's a little chicken farm. Do you want to try it? And then also, you guys, they also have zip lining. And you can also take a cable car. Which a cable car would be insane, it went right over the waterfall. And there it is right there, you're running across. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's another cable car taking off. And it's We are in between the national parks. Remember the guy the park, the biggest one? So this is So this is the largest national park in Ecuador right here, the Sangai. And then this is the Pastasas River. Right? This is, is this the largest river in Ecuador? Yeah, the largest in Ecuador, zip line. Around oh, this is the largest zip line, okay. So here's be the zip line to go from here all the way down to there. <laughs> One kilometer, 25 meters. One kilometer. So guys, you can see there's this cable car. People are loading in on this cable car. And as they load up on it, I'm gonna try showing you guys where it goes. I'm gonna show you guys something here. You guys are gonna be shocked. You're gonna be like, what? I'm gonna need to move quick, so. All right, I'm here, excuse me. So there they go, as they get in the cable car, they go down and around. And this operation is operated right over here, guys. Look at it. It's ran by a big engine with a dude making it work. So if that isn't scary, I don't know what is. <laughs> so guys we are guys we are in the cable car I'm not gonna lie I'm freaked out but we're in it we're in the cable car guys we're going across I gotta keep my head down so my hat don't fly off because it probably will then I have to go buy me a new hat we are in the cable car, you guys. The cable car only costs $10 for all five of us. Look at this, you guys. Oh, we stopped. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hang on to that, baby. Uh, you're fine, baby. You're fine. Look at this, you guys. Oh, that bridge. We got to walk across that bridge. All right, we're coming in, guys. We're coming in. We're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Oh, now we're heading back. Now we're heading back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got speed. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh.
Not gonna lie, that cable car was awesome. It was awesome. Here's another waterfall. I'll show you guys real quick over here. Uh, this is called Waterfall Road that we took. Takes you to all the waterfalls throughout Ecuador. But yeah, that cable car, amazing. Highly recommend it. Very awesome. Very neat. Here's the other waterfall, guys. Another one. Now it's starting to turn nighttime in Banos, guys. So this is what you got. Whole bunch of shops. Like I said, we're downtown Banos. You got a big bank right here. You got a big park over here. You got taxis going, people running. So you can see the, the sky looks very angry, but this is an active volcano, you guys. This is an actual active volcano that could erupt at any time, and that would not be good. But here's Banos at night. Got the ice cream shop over here. You got tons of shopping. Straw market, hotels, hostels, a couple bars, tourism, but you know, it's pretty cool. Definitely, got a tattoo studio right there. some reason makes t-shirts there it is you guys the probably the last the last phone booth you're ever gonna see right there you guys the last phone booth in the world right there those are rare so we take the internet for granted here's an actual internet this is where they play video games so here's where you got an actual video game internet thing. It's pretty cool. And then if you also hear that there's another, like a trash, like there's like ice cream man music, but instead it's trash. So when people hear that sound, they all go running and throw their to throw the trash into the truck. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, you guys, this is, what the hell is in here? Can we even go in here? I don't even know. We got Pepperonis Express. But yeah, Internet Cafe. Here's another little uh, plaza or a park you can go chill at. Over here they got running dogs and all types of stuff going on. And then Banos, like the town, the uh, stores and stuff don't close till about 9 p.m. So here's what you got going on. There's a big giant cross on top of the hill kind of interesting it's pretty cool it like overlooks the whole city of Banos well, that's pretty cool so 
So guys, as we're walking around, we see there's Dino's Park, all this authentic uh, stuff to Ecuador. As we're walking downtown Banyo, look at this, look what we found. KFC. We got $6.99 for the pack. Good old KFC over here. So guys, look over here. This is a big church we're going to go in and check out. This is insane. You got people playing instruments in the streets. You got these baskets. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Appreciate it, though. Oh. Ava. Look at this church. Oh, my God. There's a service going on in here right now. But look at... Wow. Wow. Look at the craft. Look at the work on these doors, you guys. Look at this. All wood. It's insane. Look at All wood, you guys. You got a further shot of the church. There it is farther away. Oh, sure. Alright guys, so we were walking the streets of Banos and um, we decided we'd get a pizza, come home, have some Cokes, have some pizza back at the hotel. Let's see what type of pizza this is. We're going to open it up. Oh yeah. There's Ecuadorian pizza right there guys. And this pizza only costs 13 bucks. Not a bad deal. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and always turn that post notification bell so you do not, do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.